if you fall off a boat, don't do it once they're on the hard. Beautiful blue water boat. Love the foot pedal sinks. Teak and holly floors. Really a pretty boat. All right, there she blows. 34 Pacific Seacraft, 1987. Pre-lock design, blue water, capable. Nice little sailboat. Starlight Express, hailing from Naples, Florida. The bottom has just been redone, completely blasted with, uh, actually they use walnut shells. Give it a nice, smooth finish. Multiple coats of barrier coats, multiple coats of bottom paint. She's ready to sail. Uh, a lot of varnish work's just been done and hull has just been buffed and waxed. Asking price right now, at the time of this video, is $95,000 or $99,000, one of the two, give or take a few grand. I'll leave the broker's information in the description uh, below, or the owner's information. Somebody you can get a hold of anyway, if you want this boat. Uh, owner of this boat has owned many, many boats, knows how to take care of them. And uh, yeah, let's hop on board and see how she looks. All right, let me climb aboard here without falling. If you fall off a boat, don't do it once they're on the hard. Never have and I never will. Here's the helm. Deep, deep lockers. Both sides. Plenty of storage for a nice long blue water cruise across the Atlantic. Non skid has just been recently redone. Top side needs a buff and wax. Get some of this glue off from the tape, but that's coming, I'm sure. These port lights will actually really pop and buff out with some compound, a little high-speed buffer. Really good look sharp. Teak deck for the uh, cockpit, I presume. These will pop too if you really put some time and effort into them. And they'll turn back and patina, but nice open four deck. A lot of space here. Very nice. Multiple cleats. Looks like a newer windlass. Near Cougar. We got a fortress and a plow anchor. Sea furl. Hood yacht systems. USA, baby. I like the decks. 
on either side of the, of the uh, cabin top. A lot of room, nice and clean, room to run and operate. Nice varnish. Just finished. Get some of that tape off of here. Side's got a decent shine, although you can see a little bit of the gel coat wearing through, but. I'm only seeing it right there at that spot. Again, she'll come back with a nice buff and wax. She purdy. That nice golden teak contrast with the white decks really, really makes her pop. Got our propane, some more storage. RPM, looking for the hour meter. He said it has either 1900 or 2100 hours on the, uh, I believe it's a little Yanmar. We'll take a look at that. There's our fuel fill. Nice, smooth. All right, let's head down the companion way. Nice teak and holly floor. Not a, not too much of a, a bad smell at all. It smells, it smells really good. No, no moldy, mildewy smell not a lot of diesel smell or anything oh headliners appears to be in pretty good order nice port lights i love the port lights All right, let's start here in the galley. Fridge, freezer. Propane stove, oven. Double sink. Lots of storage here. So is this pump? Yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, we've got water on the foot pumps. I'm not sure if this has been bypassed. Let me know. What's the point of these versus this faucet? I like that though. And that puts out some good pressure. Very easy to use. Nice. Looks like it's had some recent fittings put in. Seacock looks new. Again, this owner is a true sailor. He's owned many boats. The type of person you'd want to buy a boat from. Here's the nav desk. A little bit of a catch-all for important stuff. Drop this back, and we've got some more storage. Here's our panel. Not seeing that hour meter, but she's got around 2,000 hours. 37 horsepower. She's under there. We'll get to her in a minute.
table double leaves fold up I'd probably just have one open at all times for eating and keep this path wide open but if you have a lot of friends over enjoying some time together you got a nice big table and you could sleep two more out here besides in the uh, the V berth got some more varnish work finishing up no signs of water damage or leakage that I see as I said nice and dry interesting it's zippers here huh I wonder if that was just for the ease of the in original install or if that's for I'm not sure it's the whole length handrails got a little net here you can keep some stuff thick one thing the owner wanted me to mention was this cozy cabin heater so the boat also has air conditioning wherever you go you will be comfortable easy open and close take a look at the sole here you can see she's in pretty good shape little nicks here and there but very nice floor okay the v-birth is right now housing all the sails but you get the idea comfy spot for one maybe two it's got the jib sail main sail spinnaker sail stay sail wherever the wind is blowing you're gonna get some wind and uh, get a little movement oh wow okay that's, that's really nice better than just some vinyl backing or carpet nice wood accent I like that got cushions for the cockpit screens got screens here got screens for the hatches this is probably for the companion way or storage easy access to your seacocks here and again this one is new plumbing looks new it's made some upgrades that's what I like an older boat already upgraded somebody did all the hard work for you dry 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 you get the discounted price of not buying new but a boat that's in great shape all right now the head the door opens and gives you privacy if you've got guests sleeping out in the salon it's nice wet head love the foot pedal sinks simple simplicity Makes life better. All right, let's pull this apart. All right, guys, let's see how long it takes me doing this for the first time ever and uh, how fast you can get to the engine. One, two, three, four, five. Six. There she is. I like that. A lot better than pulling three, four, five panels out. We are golden. Nice little piece of iron there. Yeah, Yanmar. A little crusty around the Cool it to be expected.
direct drive. Pretty cool. Nice, very capable boat. All right, now a continual walkthrough below decks.